Thank you all for viewing my technical videos and providing me valuable suggestions to improve my videos and presentation methodology. Constant queries from multiple people after viewing the videos have motivated me to prepare more tutorials on 802.11 protocols which are allow me to share knowledge. I know many of us understand 802.11 concepts but we always miss some important information which is either due to misunderstanding of the concept or we never encounter such concepts either while designing or testing. Please let me know if I misunderstood any of the concepts that I share. Today's presentation is about CSMS CA feature in the 802.11 wireless networks. CSMS CA is the backbone of the wireless network system. Today's presentation include CSMS CA basics, CSMS CD basics, why CSMS CA is chosen in wireless networks over CSMS CD in wide networks, need for CSMS CA CA in 802.11 protocol, CSMS CA operation in 802.11 protocol. Now let's understand the mechanism of CSMS CA. The flowchart displayed in presentation slides represent the state machine of CSMS CA mechanism. CSMS CA is a channel access mechanism used by, by most wireless LANs in the ISM bands. The channel access mechanism is the part of the protocol which specifies how the node uses the medium, when to listen and when to transmit. The basic principles of CSMS CA are listen before token contention. This is an asynchronous message passing mechanism delivering a best effort service but no bandwidth and latency guarantee. CSMS CA is derived from CSMS CD which is the base of the Ethernet. The main difference is the collision avoidance. On a wire, the trans receiver has the ability to listen while transmitting and so to detect collisions. But even if a radio node could listen on the channel while transmitting, the strength of its own transmission would mask all other signals on the air so the protocol cannot direct cannot directly detect collisions like with ethernet and only tries to avoid them now let's look the operation of csm csm the protocol starts by listening on the channel and if it is found to be idle it sends the first packet in the transmit queue if it is busy the node waits the end of the current trans transmission and then starts the contention. Contention is nothing but to wait for a random amount of time which is chosen by the device. When its contention timer expires, it, if the channel is still idle, the node sends the packet. The node having chosen the shortest contention delay wins and transmits its packet. The other node jets wait for the next contention because the contention is a random number and done for every packet each node is given an equal chance to access the channel now let's look at the operation of csms cd all computers attached to the ethernet use a csms cd to coordinate their activities a computer wishing to transmit checks for electrical activity on the cable informally called a carrier if there is no carrier the computer can transmit if a carrier is present, the computer waits for the sender to finish before proceeding. However, it is possible for two or more computers to detect the lack of carrier and start transmissions simultaneously. The signals travel at approximately 70% of the speed of the light and interfere with one another. This interference is called a collusion. A sending computer monitors the signal on the cable and if it differs from the signal it is sending then a collision has occurred and the computer stops transmitting. Following a collision a computer waits for the cable to become idle before retransmitting. However, if the computer starts transmitting as soon as the cable becomes free another collision will occur. Ethernet requires each computer to delay after a collision. The standard specifies a maximum delay and requires each computer to choose a random delay less than maximum. In this case, the computer choosing the shortest delay will transmit first. 
if subsequent collision still occurs the computers double the maximum delay until the range is large enough for one computer to choose a short delay and transmit without a collision this technique is called binary exponential back off technique now let's look at the differences between csmu ce ca and csmu cd csmu cd is used in wired lands and csmu ca is used in wireless lands and other types of wireless networks csmu cd is standardized in 802.3 protocol and csmu ce is standard as in 802.11 protocols csmu cd will not take steps to prevent transmission collision until it is taken place while while csmu ce will take actions not to take any place any collisions since the latter has no means of knowing whether a collision has taken place ethernet devices has the ability to listen while transmitting hence csmu cd is used in wired lines whereas wireless stations are able to transmit or listen to a channel at a time hence csmu ca is the best mechanism for wireless lines now why do we require csmu ca in 802.11 protocol below are the main reasons to avoid collisions between the transmissions of different wireless stations to improve the throughput of the network and csmu ca provides a proper transmission methodology and to maintain synchronization of nodes in a network now how does csmu ca works in 802.11 protocol for a station to transmit it shall sense the medium to determine if another station is transmitting if the medium is not determined to be busy the transmission may proceed the csmu ca distributed algorithm mandates that a gap of minimum specified duration exists between contiguous frame sequences a transmitting station shall ensure that the medium is ideal for this required duration before attempting to transmit if the medium is determined to be busy the station shall defer until the end of the current transmission after deferral or prior to attend, attempting to transmit again immediately after successful transmission the station shall select a random back off interval and shall decrement the back off interval counter while the medium is idle your transmission is successful either when an ag frame is received from the station addressed by the rea field of the transmitted frame or when a frame with a group address in the rea field is transmitted completely now how does csmu ca works in 802.11 mechanism 802.11 uses two types of cs mechanisms one is virtual cs mechanism and the other is physical cs mechanism what is virtual cs mechanism a virtual cs mechanism shall be provided by the mac this mechanism is referred to as nav which is nothing but network allocation vector the nav maintains a prediction of future traffic on the medium based on the duration information that is announced in the rts cts frames prior to the actual exchange of data or from the duration field present in the frames transmitted by stations physical carousence mechanism shall be provided by sensing the physical medium or channel physical medium of a device determines the energy level on the channel that the device is operating if the energy level exceeds the threshold value station understands that the medium is either busy or idle now let's see how the virtual cs mechanism works in case of an rts cts networks stations receiving a valid frame shall update their nav with the information received in the duration field for all frames where the new value is greater than the current nav value except the nav shall not be updated where the receiver address is equal to receiving station's mac address upon receipt of ps pole frame a station shall update 
its nav settings as appropriate under the data rate selection rules using the dura duration value equal to the time in microseconds required to transmit one act frame plus one shift interval but only when new value nav value is greater than the current nav value if the calculated duration includes a fractional microsecond the value is rounded off to the next higher integer when the nav is reset a physical cca reset dot request shall be issued to the hardware of the device how is busy and idle defined in a carrier sense mechanism so a station checks before transmitting that whether the medium is busy or ideal based on physical and virtual CS state. If physical CS is equal is busy and virtual CS is not equal to zero, the state the medium is said to be busy. And if the medium is busy, the station shall defer its time by diffs if the latest frame detected by the medium was received correctly else station shall differ time by ifs the sh station is said to be idle if physical cs is idle and virtual cs is equal to zero how does csms ca work in 802.11 protocol From the pre pre previous sections, you might have understood the concept of station determining the state of the channel. Now let's look the, at the actual flow of a station accessing the channel and transmitting on it. A station that is willing to transmit shall first wait for ifs or diffs period if the medium is ideal. After the ifs or diffs period, the station shall select random backoff period and decreases the backoff period if the channel is ideal else the back of period is same once the back of period reduces to zero and if station finds the channel is ideal it transmits the packet this is how the how csmsea is implemented in 802.11 protocol if you have any queries or if i am wrong in my understanding or error in my understanding please mail me at shashank dot third at gmail.com thank you thank you all